I'm Reagan Beckley reporting for the WHSAM. In today's broadcast, the WHS Choir will be featured. Included in that segment, we will spotlight Performing What We Love, their annual potato dinner, and information about the Christmas extravaganza. Next, the marching band will be recognized for their performance at the football playoffs against Burlington. Then, FPLA is featured for their workshop held for the 5th graders and a review on the Cosmic Bowling lock-in field trip. Lastly, we will check in on the Varsity Scholars Bowl team to see how they're faring in their season. Now, here's Haley Watson to discuss the WHS Choir. On November 15th, the Wellsville High School Choir held their annual Performing What We Love concert. This is the only concert of the year where the choir students are allowed to choose what they perform. Audiences were treated to 27 different songs performed by various solos and ensembles. The concert was a free will donation and all money raised will go towards the Branson trip the choir will take next school year. Here is some footage from Performing What We Love provided by Ashley Reynolds. sponsoring their annual baked potato bar on December 1st before the Christmas drawing. Once again, all proceeds raised will go towards the 2014 Branson trip. Everybody come out and support the choir on Monday, December 17th for the Christmas Extravaganza concert and the Kermit Dieter Dean Gym. Back to you, Reagan. Thank you, Haley. Next, we have Sierra Savage to review the marching band. On October 30th, the WHS marching band performed during the halftime of the Wellsville vs. Burlington playoff game. This was Wellsville's first marching band in over a decade. The band started their show by performing the song Mag 7. They ended by forming a W while playing our school song in Rouser. Here is footage of the marching band in action. <laughs> support the band as they hold their annual Christmas concert on December 19th at 7 p.m. Thanks, Sierra. Now, here to talk about FBLA is Rebecca Olmeyer. The FBLA officers Ashton Nottinghouse and Katie Becker went to Denver, Colorado on November 8th to attend the National Fall Leadership Conference. While in Denver, they went to workshops on leadership, dining etiquette, and many more. On November 15th, the FBLA also hosted a field trip for the fifth graders. The members created 10 different workshops for American Enterprise Day and presented them in different rooms of the high school. The chapter also went cosmic bowling and had a lock-in on November 16th. When they got back from bowling, there was pizza, games, and movies to entertain them during the lock-in until 4 a.m. Well said. And lastly, the Varsity Scholars Bowl team seems to be faring well. Let's go to Nicole Gear to find out more. On November 6th, Wolves will host at seven schools for an annual Scholars Bowl tournament. After nine rounds of questions, Eudora came in first place, second place was Baldwin, and finally finishing third was Paola. The Wellsville team finished with four wins and five losses. Thanks, Nicole. And thank you for watching the WHSAN broadcast. Tune in next time for an update on our winter sports teams. This is Reagan Beckley, signing off.